Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys already know, I'm doing a video every day leading up to Valentine's Day. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Let's jump into today's. As you can see, I've prepped my red iguana silicone practice hand Liza with tips. And now we're going in with Gershon base coat because this is leading up to something big, guys. I'm working with a product that you've never seen me work with before. And I would have loved to have the base, the top coat and all that dehydrated primer for this brand but I didn't and Gershon was the next best thing. So I will be carrying this base coat for 30 seconds. IBD y'all, hey, listen to me, OG. Okay, so I'm using Rose Claire and I will be doing an extended nail bed, a smile line. It's not all that extended. If you ask me, it comes just out to where Liza's actual fake faux natural nail ends. So I'm going in with a slip layer and I'm using my Gershon gel brush because again I don't own anything other than the IBD base I mean um, builder gel so I'm working on that so when I'm doing my slip layer I'm actually shaping it you know the shape of the smile line and now I'm coming in with a larger bead and thank goodness for that slip layer because it's gonna tell this bead where I want it to go I'm getting to the cuticle and moving sidewall to sidewall Add a little bit more product because I didn't use enough. This was my first nail, it was the pinky. Who isn't nervous during pinkies? I don't know that person because I am. So I do this in layers, which is suggested because you can prevent heat spikes with this. So I actually go in and cure this first layer of Rose Claire from IBD. I cure that for 30 seconds. Once that's out, I go in with the bigger bead, guys. Again, starting from the cuticle, going from sidewall to sidewall, focusing on that sort of outline that I've created for myself so I can have this really nice smile line, extended nail bell, hey, whatever you wanna call it. What do you call it? Let me know in the comments. Smile line, extended nail bed, what do you call it? I just, I mean, I'm, and the thing is, y'all, I'm about to do five of these. You guys already know that I don't even play that with acrylic. I don't play that with poly gel. You get one, maybe two. I was tripping this Valentine's Day season because I did five of those things, okay? So I'm showing you this process again. Going in with my slip layer, shaping it the way I want it for that smile line. Then I'm going in with a nice bead, going from cuticle sidewall to sidewall. I will flash cure this for 30 seconds. And then a bigger bead to add structure. Now you can build your structure with just the um, the colored gels or clear cap with clear. It's just it's really up to you. You file them. Like I mean, the only thing that's different is the consistency because of the pigmentation. That's it. You guys, I left the thumb in because the thumb scares the crap out of everyone. I think because it's so big, it's a challenge. But I think, hey, listen, you know, I think I did it. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments, y'all. I think I slayed this thumb. I think I did really, really well here. Of course, I gave everything a full cure for 60 seconds before I proceeded onward. And this here with a thumb, you definitely wanna uh, flip your fingers upside down and make sure your apex is where you want it to be. And that's what I was doing here. So I'm taking my 180 side on my uh, Glitter Bells metal fining board and I'm just refining that line. And to be honest, there wasn't much to do. I was really, your girl was really proud of herself because um, practice makes, makes perfect. If you're, if you're me, like, well, you're not Lisa, but you're a beginner, not, not me exactly. But if you're me in terms of our like experience and where we're at, good for us. Practice makes perfect. Okay, so look, look at that. Look at that mess. It happened literally as I was putting the product into the, the hand into the lamp. So anyway, I'm coming in with IBD Extreme French and I'm doing, what, what am I doing? Y'all know this is a French nail. Y'all read that um, thumbnail. So I am creating my slip layer, of course, because I needed to tell this gel where it's gonna go. I'm gonna get my speed and I'm gonna push that right up to the smile line. I'm gonna work it from one side to the next and then I'm gonna float it down the nail. And if, if I'm, listen, this white, I think was my favorite of the IBD gels to work with. 
FYI, sis only got four. So why is she trying to act like she got so much that she can like really differentiate between the consistency and how easy it was to work? I got four. <laughs> okay. And I did cure this for 30 seconds, just a flash cure as I moved from nail to nail. So here I am again, just floating that product from sidewall to sidewall. You know what? I re I really enjoyed working with these gels. I know you guys have heard me like ramble on from the start of this video to the end, like all of the videos I've like done already, but hey, I'm high on life. Not high on the gel, I didn't sniff it. I mean, it smells weird, I did sniff it slightly. Anyway, moving on, I love this product. Looking forward to getting all things IBD, just to, you know, complete my set. So I did wanna add a little bit of structure with the clear because I did not build the white up as high as I built the rose because I wanna save my product. Like, why not? I only got the one jar, okay? And I this is super easy to work with. Their clear is clear, and then I pop it in for 30 seconds and then cure the entire hand for 60 before I move on to filing. Look at how bumpy, lumpy, crusty this looks. I cleansed this and I started filing. Everything gonna look like that pinky, I promise you. See, I made good on my promise. So I filed and buffed off camera and now I'm coming in with Model 1's Solid Cream Number 2 and a mix of 1323, which same mix I always do. Going in with my Beauty Gallery brush and I'm drawing a line on the far left side of this pinky. And I'm not curing that line. Okay, so lines drawn. I'm going in with my dotting tools. Gonna do a dot on that side of the line, a dot on the other side. These dots are big-ish, and then these little dots that I'm doing, yeah. Okay, what am I about to do? A heart, why not? Can you have enough hearts during Valentine's Day? I, I, I think not. So I'm taking my detail brush, the same one I, do, I did the lines with, and I'm pulling the corners of those circles and making little tails that connect on that line. And boom, there's a heart. Then I filled in the negative space. Th there you go. It's like the easiest heart that I've ever been able to do. And of course, I'll be doing the same thing to the smaller dots below. And then I cure this for a full 60 seconds because you do not want the solid cream to bleed into your um, top coat. So fully cure this for 60 seconds, guys. On the middle finger, I'm focusing in the center, drew that line, and this actually has um, three hearts instead of two. And on the thumbnail, which you will see in like another slide, I will be drawing a line to the further right side of that thumbnail and adding two hearts on there as well. And of course, curing for a full 60 seconds. Have you guys tried IBD? Um, what do you think? Have you tried their top coats? Be honest. Like, what are the rest of their products like? Let your girl know, cause I think I might like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a little collection, a little hoardation type vibe, you know, like hoarding stuff. So now I'm going in with my Gershon top coat. I'm gonna top coat all the nails, cure them for a full 60 seconds. I don't know if it was me, but there's like a little bit of a less, it's less white and more ivory by the time this um, builder gel cured. I don't know, maybe it was just me, but you know. There's glitter, y'all. Okay, I don't have the link for this glitter, but I mean, if you find it, great. I applied gem gel on these hearts, which I think is the best way to really adhere your glitter when you're doing sugaring. So I put the glitter on, I tap off the excess, and I actually go in with my tweezers to refine the shape, push the glitter where I need it to be pushed, so I don't lose the shape of my hearts. And once that's all done, I cure for a full 60 seconds, and then I dust off all that glitter, and then I add a little bit of AB crystals. And guys, that's the end of the video, so please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Look for the product list below, follow me on social media, and here is a video and picture of the finished product. Love you guys for watching. Thank you so much and see you in the next one. Bye.